Hello and welcome to episode three of our Brighting Summit webcast. We are here on set to share two exciting developments with you. One of which is another major product launch. The other news is an important step towards sustainability for Brightling. Why not try out our new interactive webcast format? Now you can like, comment, share, and even order your favorite watch. So dive in and enjoy. Brightling has created a dedicated women's model since the 1940s. More recently, we successfully expanded our offering with the Navitimer 35 and 38 and the Super Ocean 36. Our inspiration for this new collection is a Brightling woman herself. From chic to sporty, she's at the top of her game and always a woman of purpose, action and style. So we are proud to present the perfect watch for her. Sporty, yet elegant, truly versatile, with a stylish modern retro touch. The new chronomat for women. Now I'd like to welcome Tiffany To, watch specialist at Philips Auction House. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. How has the market for women's watches evolved in the past few years? Rather than looking for a simple bejeweled object, we have other things in mind. You want a watch that's comfortable, durable, easy to wear, and more than anything, it has to be pleasing to the eye. And finally, you have the brand itself, because increasingly we're very conscious of how products are made. Tiffany, obviously you're wearing our new Chronomat model today, so what is your take on it? I love the variety. You have the automatic versus quartz movement, two different sizes, all the different dial variations, and with diamonds or without. I can imagine the watch in any situation, whether I'm at work, with friends, or even on the weekend. So here we have copper with diamond, which is absolutely beautiful. And my personal favorite is the mint green, which is absolutely fascinating. Some classics with, for instance, the blue or the white, which you have here. Do you recall the beginnings of the chronomat? Sure. It completely recalls the original codes from the 1980s. You have the rider tabs, the smooth case, and the ruler bracelet but the watch is reimagined for the 21st century. So you really see the heritage and the DNA of Breitling, but it's completely changed for a new segment of the market. Blending heritage, technical sophistication, and brilliant design is very much the new Breitling signature. So I'm very intrigued. Do you have any hints for us on the squad you've assembled for the launch of the product? Tiffany, all I can say is stay tuned. Thank you again very much for joining us today. The Chronomat for Women is indeed a special new collection, so obviously we need the right writing squad to represent it. These amazing artists form our new Spotlight Squad. Actor and producer Charlie Siron really needs no introduction and is already part of our writing family thanks to her leading role in the Cinema Squad. Yao Chen, introduced as a Brightling ambassador earlier this year, is a hugely influential Chinese actor and pioneer in using social media as a platform for change. And completing the Spotlight Squad is Misty Copeland, a ballerina whose rise to fame has shattered stereotypes and inspired a new generation of performers. And now it gives me great pleasure to welcome two of our Spotlight Squad members with us today, Misty Copeland and Charlie Serron. Good morning, Charlies. Good morning. Well, let's start talking about watches. So you're wearing the new Chronomat. Yeah. And I see that you wear the diamond bezel. Well, George, you made another terrible watch. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. It's a stunner. It's a stunner. And I, you know, I never expect anything less from you guys. I mean, I think the thing that I really love about this watch, it's the duality of it. You know, it's classic yet modern. It's just, it's a really great watch. You guys should keep doing this. Yeah. You're really good at it. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try. <laughs> 
So how do you like this size? Do you prefer uh, women's sizes or do you like to wear bigger sizes? I like both. I, 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 you know, sometimes you feel like a smaller face and then other days you feel like having a clunky thing on your wrist just to be like Wonder Woman. And have you been working on any projects as an actress or as a producer? Yeah, I mean, at our production company, we're always uh, developing. So our slate is really big, both in television and in film. And it's only grown in the last couple of months just with the time that we have on our hands. So that never stops for us. You know, we have, we have close to 30 projects that we're developing. So it's a constant kind of uh, back and forth, switching your brain into a different gear because we're doing a bunch of very different and unique uh, things. But it's exciting. It's really exciting. You're very much engaged and you're trying to help people in need and you have your own foundation. Could you tell us a little bit about it? The Charlize Theron Africa Outreach Project uh, basically came to life in 2007 to what was at the time, and unfortunately still today, uh, one of the biggest issues that we face in South Africa, and that's HIV and AIDS. Our goal with CTOP is really to find grassroots organizations who work predominantly with young people and to support them so it's a real privilege to be able to see the dedication that people are willing to put back into their communities. That was fantastic, Charlie. Thank you very much for being with us today. Oh, thanks, George. Thanks so much. Be safe, okay? You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Yao Chen couldn't join us today, but she sent us this special message from Beijing. Hello, 大家好,我是百年龄,全新聚光灯行动队的成员之一,姚晨。因为今年全世界遭遇了这场疫情,我们有了这一次特别的拍摄经历。我和我的另外两位成员,赛荣、米斯蒂,三个人分别在三个地点
The Chronomat for Women is available as of today, both online and in the Breitling stores worldwide. At Breitling, we believe that the future of luxury is casual, inclusive, and sustainable. People want brands that are approachable and that stand for meaningful values. That is why sustainability is very important to us. We know that alone we cannot save the world, but we can be part of the solution. In the past years, we have started many initiatives to be more environmentally friendly. We have our explorer squad of important environmentalists. We support ocean conservancy to help reduce plastic waste in our oceans. And together with our surf squad member Kelly Slater and his brand Autonone, we launched NATO straps made of Econil, a regenerated nylon made entirely from ocean waste. Today, we are ready to share another major sustainability initiative. And who could be a better partner for such a project than environmentalist and explorer squad member Bertrand Picard? It's a pleasure and a great honor for me to welcome Bertrand Picard with us today. Bertrand, how should I call you? Are you a scientist? Are you a pioneer? Since 28 years, I'm working with Breitling, so you can call me Bertrand. Okay. <laughs> what <laughs> I actually I'm do? <laughs> I'm an explorer. I'm a psychiatrist. And I want to promote better quality of life on Earth. I want to explore new ways of thinking, new ways of doing. So some people call me Inspioneer. Inspiring. A pioneer that is inspiring people, and I love that word. It's the first time I hear that, but I love it too. So explain us more about the Solar Impulse Foundation. I launched this challenge of having 1,000 solutions that are financially profitable to protect the environment. So Breitling wants to contribute to the effort, and we have been working over the last two years on our packaging. This is the classic packaging you will find all over the watch industry. And we have another initiative which we would like now to introduce. So let's make some space for the new Breitling packaging. This I like. lighter to transport, less CO2, upcycled PET material, and nevertheless, very attractive. And this is a perfect example of the 1,000 solutions that we want to promote. Therefore, Georges, I have the pleasure to hand out to you the certificate of the label for this packaging. Thank you very much, Bertrand. We are very proud, and I hope it will inspire other companies in the luxury uh, industry. So thank you very much for the certificate, and we'll frame it in, in something beautiful and uh, have it in one of our best spots in the office. Thanks again. We understand that this is a disruptive move for the watch industry, but we believe it is absolutely the right step and will set a new standard. For those who still prefer our traditional packaging, will still make this available on demand. However, we invite them to offset the environmental impact by making a donation to our latest sustainability partner, Sugi. For more on that, I'll hand over to another Explorer Squad member, David de Rothschild. Thank you, George and Bertrand, for the incredible inspiration. As an Explorer Squad member, we're always on a mission and we never stop exploring. We've made incredible strides when it comes to the packaging, but I'm also excited to talk about nature that's why I want to introduce Sugi and Elise, my co-collaborator, who's going to talk to you about rewilding our planet. Hello, my name is Elise. I am the founder of Sugi. Sugi makes it possible for anyone, anywhere, to build biodiversity by planting ultra-dense mini-forests all around the world. 
Breitling is championing four forests, Tully in Australia, Bulu in Cameroon, Tupaxin and Healing Forest in the USA. I invite you to discover the unique story of each of these forests on the Breitling webpage. And, as you've heard from George, if you choose the traditional Breitling packaging, you can offset its impact and build biodiversity with Sugi. But of course, you can also do that even if you choose the new upcycled packaging. Thank you. That brings us to the end of our third webcast. It's been a pleasure to share our latest news. Our Chronomat collection for women presented by the inspirational Spotlight Squad and our breakthrough innovation in packaging, 100% upcycled, smaller, smarter watch box. And remember, this, this is, is just, just the beginning. beginning. Oh, wow. My producer's chair. This is incredible. Oops. Hair and makeup. So for me, it's only makeup, I guess. Take five. From four, four. Take six. Take seven. I'm waiting until you say go. Okay, okay. Is this meant to go like over my ear? Da, da, da. Let me, what was, the, what was the line? Bit wordy. Let me do another one. Oh, sorry. sorry. It's that time of day. <laughs> what, what was the line again? I, I think that was pretty good. Yeah. One more? That's good. I think one more. Yeah. <laughs> but that was good. You got everything. I got everything in. <laughs> My dyslexic mind. Hey! Oh, cool. Oh. can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Can you, can you actually see me? Yes, I can see you. So I would like you to teach me oh. a little bit of ballet. Okay, I hope you're up for the challenge. <laughs>